which is to say that everything is consciousness whether we are aware of it or not and that our external world is just a shadow of what our interior mental world uh, our imagination of ourselves is yeah everything is god baby there's no position i mean this is Ciprian G at the present and precise moment of 9.37 p.m. on the 4th, no, on the 3rd, is it fucking 3rd or 4th? On the 3rd April 2018. Uh, documenting step number 31 from the book Steps to Knowledge, channeled by Vian Marshall Summers. Uh, there's some shit here, okay. Um, so, step number 31, uh, it's called I wish to see a world that I have never seen before. No, it's actually I wish to see a world I have never seen before. And like the last two practices, it's an hourly practice. So uh, that's been in interesting as well today. And the key word here uh, the key words, I guess, the key phrase that we should uh, use every time that uh, we do the practice itself is I wish to see a different world. Really interesting, really interesting because I'm, uh, I was actually kind of studying this thing. Uh, I don't know, you might get an insight of uh, what I'm what I'm trying to say here by allowing me to read what I write and then uh, try to explain it, I guess. So let's see what I write. This step reminds me of repentance, the way Neville Goddard talks about it. Uh, repentance, as taught in the Bible, has nothing to do with feeling remorse, uh, but it's a radical change of attitude. Neville says repentance is almost synonymous uh, with prayer, uh, which is to, whenever you pray, believe you received and you shall. So, what does this mean? So, uh, yeah, this is kind of a way of saying, so the, the, the book itself, the description says that we should look at our world uh, without judgment. Uh, just 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 look at it for and and see a different kind of world that uh, from the one that we ordinary ordinarily see so that's why to me it seems like it's kind of the same practice as uh, repentance 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 is to radically change your attitude towards something it might be towards life it might be towards uh, the way you drink from a cup i don't fucking know it's everything it's subjective but it's just a radical change of attitude so instead of seeing our world as we usually see it based on uh, our physical senses description of it and does and uh, our judgments we should look at it differently try to see something else so that's why uh, it had to do with repentance for me. It's, it, it seems kind of the same thing. But let's go into what I wrote like five minutes ago. Uh, as you know, as I did the practices today and uh, eventually came to this conclusion. The, I write pretty much here, but I guess I explain it well. So that's why I do it. I keep looking at my fucking self in the obvious thing. I shouldn't do that. That's not professional. Anyway, this step serves as an initiation to start looking at the world around us, not with judgment or through what the physical senses will dictate to us that it is, but to start looking at it in a different manner so that we might be able to look at it as we wish to see it. When we do come, uh, come into conscious awareness to the only real law of our world, which is that everything is God, 
uh, and there is no opposition and there is no opposition everything is God and there is no opposition uh, which is to say that everything is consciousness, whether we are aware of it or not, and that our external world is just a shadow of what our interior mental world, uh, our imagination of ourselves is. Yeah, everything is God, baby. There's no opposition. I mean... I create, uh, as that writing said, I am have sent me unto you. I am the Lord and there is none else. There is no God beside me. I gird thee though thou hast not known me. I form the light and create darkness. I make peace and create evil. I, the Lord, do all these things. It's uh, Isaiah 45, 5-7. There is one Lord. There is no opposition. Nobody, nothing could oppose God. So uh, that's the only thing there is. And when we came to understand that and to understand that God, which is our awareness, our consciousness, is what creates what we perceive outside as external things, as the physical world, then we can repent, which is to radically change our attitude towards ourselves and what we are, and then watch our external world conform to that. But this, uh, here I write again, and uh, something to that effect, I guess. Therefore, don't perceive your world as the physical senses or your judgment dictates, but see, but see it as you wish it would be. Live in it and watch it conform to your assumption. And that's all I write, baby. That's all I write for step number 31. But yeah, it's... Oh, it's short, baby, but it's so compact with uh, deep knowledge and with uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, deep knowledge. I don't know how else to call it because it's just that. It's uh, the recognition of, uh, yeah. Uh, but yeah, it was a really interesting step. I enjoyed it very much. I got a sneak peek into step number 32. 32 I guess so it won't be a hourly practice anymore I think we will eventually return to that but for now it seems that uh, this three has been it for now but I've really enjoyed this ones like uh, throughout the day you remind myself uh, about what the practice teaches to remind of and see things differently. This has been, that has been really interesting. Uh, overall, an amazing step, step number 32, as the preview, previous ones as well. So glad I'm doing this, uh, this uh, series of steps to knowledge. It helps me grow a lot. It helps me reiterate that which I've learned over the years. And uh, that's always a good thing. So, um, yeah, this has been it, baby. This is Ciprian G. And I'm up. Thank you for watching. Now I'm out. Bam.